Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, from my cap from my home base in Capitan, New Mexico. This is Rusty78609. And that is my Liberty Trike from electrictrikes.com. And we're fixing to go triking some alleys. And for those of you that ask about churches in Capitan, New Mexico, I know where there's a couple. We'll go look at them. The rest of them are too far out of town. And that is my Casita RV, 17-footer. And this is my Beer 30 patio. And I'm fixing to introduce you to the main character here. Back to the ellip. That's a great thing there. I enjoy that a lot. Anyway, up under my truck, I have a guest. If you can see right there is a dog. Okay. As you can see, the dog is sleeping under my truck. It's an, I think it's an old dog. I it's, it's somebody's dog, obviously, but it comes by, it came by two days ago and, and then didn't come back yesterday. But this morning came by and has stayed pretty much for about two hours now. And that seems to be the spot right there. But anyway, dog, we're gonna go trike some alleys. You have a good nap and I'll be back shortly. The good thing about the dog, it doesn't care what the hell I do. <laughs> it ain't worried about me five cents. But anyway, somebody's dog, they just let it out, or it got out, it escaped. But now we're gonna go trike in some alleys and stuff. <clears throat> let me get my mirror set up. I may be pretty close there. No, let's get it over here a little bit like that. Okay, let's go, guys. Let's go see if we can find some. We're gonna trike some alleys, and then we're gonna go find a church. Be a little bouncy getting out of here, maybe, I'm not sure. We'll start with the alley right here right across from my my home base here in Capitan, these storage buildings. And I'm not gonna go fast. Right now I'm going three. Yeah, they got a lot of storage, and every one of these things has a lot. They're full. In fact, I called her, I was asking about how much a small one was just to find out. Uh, they're all full. She said, it doesn't matter how much they are, that we don't ha have any. So this is alley one. We'll go down this alley for a little bit doesn't go far uh, there's an easement on that property straight ahead but they, they built a fence across it and what else can I tell you on we go Capitan New Mexico April the 23rd 2020 in the middle of a pandemic that is ending as we speak people are getting fed up ready to go do their thing but I'll go show you a church. I know where one is. Well, kind of, sort of. But I hear I used to I hear the bell on Sunday mornings. I don't think they're having services because they can't, which I think is never mind. Which I think, what I think doesn't matter five cents, does it? Can I change anything? No. So on we go. I'm going to enjoy my life just the way it is. No matter what goes on in the rest of the world, I'm fine. I don't need much to eat, don't need much to drink. Let's see, I'm trying to think if it's 3rd Street. I think it is. I think it's to my left. I got my blinker on. Let's go down here and see. Uh, Beautiful little town here. There's all the traffic right there and they're not in the vehicle. They parked there and got out. You can do that in a small town. Okay, here's, the, this is a church. No, that's, is that a church building? No, I don't think so. The one across the street there, that's a church building there. Let me go up there and I'll read it to you. I'll go right up on the parking lot and read it to you. Let's go this here way. This is a church. See, they got a bell, bell up there, and they ring that bell. And they got one across the street, too, right over here. That over there says Sacred Heart Catholic Church, Saturday and Sunday. And this right here is Welcome to United Methodist Church. So the competition is facing each other on this corner. One thing I like about the Catholic Church is they, they have early Mass, mid-morning Mass, afternoon Mass, evening Mass, 
night mass, it, you know, they're going to get their crowd, by God. They, they, they make it convenient. But you can hear that bell all over town when they ring it. Okay, that guy's turning, so now we'll go. All right, now, so that's the church thing. Now we'll continue on and see if we can find an alley somewhere. Go downtown. Old dogs and children, you know, I gotta stop and fix something right quick. Come think about, I forgot one thing. Well, two things, actually. I need to adjust my mirror, mirror a little bit like that. Is that better? Yeah, it's better. Hang on, then I forgot to put uh, sometimes this little thing back here will rattle, so I made me this little thing here to cram up under there while well, I got it going the wrong way. And then that stops that rattling noise. It does, I'm telling you, it works. Let's go. Now, back to the whatever I was doing. I don't know how long this thing's been going, probably two hours. But I got me a dog, y'all don't want me to get a dog, I got one up under my truck sound asleep. I don't have to feed it, I don't have to do nothing. Dog drifts by, I say hi dog, dog wanders around, pees on everything, lays down in the truck and goes to sleep and then a little while goes back home. Can't have a better deal than that, can you? Okay. These are barking dogs, yep. Hello, barking dogs. There's an alley right there, but it doesn't go anywhere. It goes to somebody's house. This is the firewood dealer of Capitan right here. Got all kinds of stuff cut up. Uh, the temperature right now is probably in the 50s because going into the wind, I, it, I've got it on a windbreaker, feels okay. And then down here, we can cut through an alley. I think, yeah, we can cut through an alley up here on the left. Doesn't go very far, it just comes out on the main drag. And you go right by the city offices, that, you may not see it too well now, but there's a green hose hanging off that little pole straight ahead. That's where people come <clears throat> from out in the country and get water, three cents a gallon. Can you see that little green hose hanging down there? Probably, maybe, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, three cents a gallon, they come in and fill up their 100 gallon tanks and stuff. This is the back of the city offices right here. Oh, bump, got a speed bump here. Uh, let's go try it, come on. Got hung up on speed bump. Okay, and there's the uh, water department truck. Here's all their garbage cans right here. And over here, we're at, this is the back of Oso's restaurant or cafe here in Capitan. This is the back of it right there. And uh, this over here, I'm not sure. One time they tried to make a wash of tea out of this building right here on the left, but I think they gave that up for Lent. <clears throat> they have one wash of tea and it's doing pretty good. It's owned by a lady out of uh, uh, Rudoso. I met her the other day, nice people. And that right there, that's the uh, Smoky Bear Museum and Historical Park. And that's where Smokey Bear is buried. He's buried in the corner over on the left. Uh, we got a lot, we got three cars here, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Four, Jesus, it's a traffic jam. Yeah, we're gonna go now, come on, guys. We'll get on, the, we'll get on another side here. All right, ain't no hurry. That's the uh, bank there on the left the green top that's washington federal i got a little money in there not much oh this is the Oso grill i think i've shown it to you before right here good food they got a special on now two cheeseburgers uh 10 bucks and this is a little historical park right here veterans memorial park not very big i've walked around there and checked it out and then it says, welcome to my hometown, Capitan, New Mexico. And there's some of my flowers. Notice they got some missing. Wonder what happened. Uh, okay, let's go down here a little bit. Uh, this is, I, I thought they did have a railroad track through here at one time, I believe, because this is, looks like an old railroad building. 
You know, they got a city park here. This is ridiculous. But the, it's closed. I mean, nobody ever used it anyway. <clears throat> but it's closed. This is so sick. Anyway, it's a beautiful day here in Capitan, as you can see. And uh, we're going to turn right around here. And as I turn, you'll see they got a little playground here. And I've come down here and sat and had a picnic before a long time ago because <clears throat> I didn't want to eat in my pickup while I was driving. Uh, if you go straight ahead here, you go to Ruidoso. Left is Roswell. And to the right is Carrizozo, commonly known as Zozo. Now, let's go which way, Rusty? Uh, let's see, we've done downtown. Let me go out here and show you some buildings for sale. The lady that owns Mama Bear's RV park, which she's selling or sold. Let's go. I'm zipping out here now, baby. I am zipping. All right, here we go. That's the little country market called Smokies. They got a deli in there that's great for me. Other people may not like it. A hardware store on the left down that street right there called North Bonita Avenue. Actually, I'm going right down there. There ain't nobody behind me. There isn't anyone behind me. And I'll show you some buildings for sale that I think she owns. The lady from Mama Bear's. Got a car coming up behind me pretty quick, so I'll do the bicycle thing and get out of the way. Okay. What are the odds that they'd want to go to that part, that parts place right now? That's what it is, though. Yeah. <laughs> that one car. There's only one car on the whole road that had to go right there. Okay, now right up here, these, all the, these buildings in here are for sale. Those brown, the tan looking ones there. And as I recall, I believe they are the ones that are owned by Mama Bear. And she's got some more across the street. She's going to live in one of them. Price reduced. This is 317 Highway what? I don't know. 380, maybe, I don't know. But they're neat buildings. You know, they used to be businesses. They were for years, and you know, when the town was kind of booming. But there's the deal, if anybody wants to check on them, you can live in them, I guess. Let me zoom a little bit and read that side a little better, maybe. Anyway, we'll move on now. Yeah, and uh, it's not a bad location. I mean, uh, it's right walking distance to the downtown area and uh, yeah it's a good spot so let me pull over here a little bit yeah we're, now we're out of town now I mean we're, that we're, we're totally out of town now I mean that's it guys there ain't much here but that's just what I was looking for not much here so let me turn my trike around we'll head back I'll then find a spot somewhere and end the video here comes an old Chevrolet pickup of some kind. See that old junker here? Well, it's not, he looks like he's about got it completely restored. Let's go up here and talk with that boy. A little bouncy here on this gravel driveway. Still haven't heard anything from the uh, guy on the road. You got it completely restored. How you doing? I like your truck. <laughs> Not bad, huh? I don't know what your Chevrolet that is. But he's definitely got it fixed up nice. Got the big dual exhaust stuff on there, the stacks. Anyway, I'll pull up a little bit here. Let's see. Come on, thank you. Uh, this building here, I don't think it, well, I'm sure it's for sale, but it doesn't have a sign. Maybe she owns it too, for all I know. <laughs> this is where I was the other day, and the city policeman told, told me I couldn't be looking at these properties. <laughs> what the hell is that? 
anyway but having said that guys from capitan new mexico on a as you can see another beautifully clear day they get a lot of clear skies out here now in the summers uh, about two o'clock in the afternoon you get a little rain not much just a sprinkle and then it's gone but anyway thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy anything you want anytime but if you think about it use the link to amazon products doesn't cost you a penny uh paypal link that's up to you drink you know keep your health however you can stretch walk stand guard at the door of your mind boy you really got to stand guard now you need to hire guards and having said that adios amigos from capitan bye bye